Hello guys, welcome to Botswana. I am on a dirt road on my way to Tudilo Hills, which is supposed to be an incredible site in Botswana. And uh, this road is really, really lovely. It's like hard packed dirt with just a few quite sandy patches on it. So I'm not getting too challenged today, which I enjoy. I can actually get some speed and just have fun. And I got a question from a lady who asked me, how do I mount? a bike that is a little bit tall for me when I also have all this uh, luggage on it. It's a really good question. Uh, I mean, how do I get on it and how do I get off it again? And uh, I can say it depends a little bit on what's going on on the ground. I always try to just have a look at where I'm parking. And one thing's for sure, if the bike is parked just a few centimeters higher than where I am, then I'm quite challenged. But uh, I'm going to show you just how I get on the bike. Let me put you here. So I just grab the handle with my left hand and then I push the bike away from the side stand. And then I kick, kick away the side stand. And now I'm just holding the bike. So I'm very used to handling my bike with one hand like this. It's quite top heavy because of all the luggage, so I mean, but I, I practice a lot, right? And then what I do is I just swing my left, uh, sorry, my right uh, leg over the, over the seat. So now it's on the seat and then I jump in and that's it. So in order to get the side set down, I need to slide over to the other side. As I am not tall enough to reach the ground, it's really important for me that the seat is very slick so that I can easily slide from one side to, to another. So I've tried a few other bikes where they, they had this kind of grippy seat and I can imagine that it's pretty cool to have that if you can reach the ground. But for me, it's like disaster because then I just don't have a chance to make it to the other side. <laughs> so if the ground is leaning down on the left side, meaning that my bike is going to lean more, then actually I will sometimes get off on the other side simply because it just makes more sense. So I'm just going to show you. Good. I'm just making a video. Okay. <laughs> Are you from the hills? Yeah. Right, you live there? Yes. Ah, oh, cool. I just had some curious locals who stopped and wanted to see what I was doing. <laughs> some of you ask me why don't I just put my left foot on the foot peg and then swing my right foot over. And I think it's something that you can do on other bikes, but for me it's not so easy because oh, it's just a very far way up there and i think that has to do with first of all this bike is quite narrow so the foot peg is far in there and then also my side stand is quite short so the bike is leaning quite a lot and then obviously the luggage just makes it harder so with with the bike pants on I find it hard, but if I don't have luggage on, I will usually get on the bike that way. So yeah, that's how I mount my bike. And I just want to show you one thing, which I think is a really good thing to practice. And that is to be able to balance your bike and walk around it. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what I mean. So to just hold the bike, walk around it. <laughs> on this side, one hand, one hand, one hand, maybe two hands.
right so that's a good practice and i also just want to show you how do i move the bike around if i have to turn the bike um what i do is that i lean the bike quite a lot onto myself and if i have to back up the bike i use the luggage to push off with my butt i'll show you so if i'm going this way i'm gonna lean the bike a lot and i'm gonna really lean into it if you look at it how much i lean and then i push backwards with my hip on the seat and if i'm going the other way hold on so if i'm turning this way i will also lean the bike quite a lot and then i will i will push it away from me like that so my point of contact is here i try not to to use too much force with my arms but actually use a lot of force with my with my hips And the more I lean the bike into me, the easier. That was a few tips from the road, from a small girl riding a tall but lightweight bike. It's uh, 146 kilos, so it's not too heavy. I hope that was useful for you who might also be a little bit vertically challenged like me. And maybe you're also looking into riding a dual sport, but you're a little bit hesitant because they're usually quite tall. But good luck with it and see you in the next video.